I think I was a blue belt when I learned this specific thing isolated that I'm going to show you while playing guard. My coach Kevin told me specifically, you're not pulling with your legs. We were starting rounds from closed guard. And, and yeah, maybe there were times you learned you do a little bit of bump, things like that to break posture. But I was always reaching to break somebody's posture. So lift your head up, Ross. Well, posture up. I was always reaching, reaching. I break and then reach. But what I can do is I can leg pull. So I'm pulling my legs like crunching. And at first it's going to wear your abs out if you're not used to it. But Ross, try and get your posture back here. I'll immediately just start now, get your posture back. And I can just keep this leg pull. And also a good principle for, for grappling is, are you wearing yourself out yeah, now? Yeah. This is exhausting for him. Once you get good at this, it's not exhausting for you. You're constantly breaking their posture. And if he does start to get it back, it's so much easier just to keep breaking his frames and breaking his posture. And then you have all sorts of ways broken down. So get, get your posture back. It's tough. I can start cutting angles and doing things. And, and Mike brought up a good point. In MMA, this is greater in a fight. It makes it harder for the guy to strike you when you're leg pulling. You know, it's good. Now, if you're up and postured, you can start hurting me in guard. Not enough people leg pull. Let's get up, keep a good strong posture, leg pull you back. Keep the leg pull. 